All right, hello there and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And in this one, we are going to be covering the time warp effect and how you can actually use this to um, play with the speeds of your clip. So I have a clip here. Um, it's a clip of just some traffic, cars going by, and we want to mess with the speed. How can we do this? Well, if we go to effects and we type in time warp, you will notice that this effect comes up. We can come and drag it on our clip and notice that this panel now appears. Now there are many options in here. There's a lot. Um, you can plus play with the tuning, but notice that we have under the method we have three options. We have the whole frames, frame mix, and pixel motion. Now if you saw our other video on pixel motion and frame blending, uh, I'll put a link to it in the description you will see that these options are the, the same actually. So we have pixel motion, which basically is going to um, create a blend of your frames. We have frame mix, which is going to um, create a different type of uh, blending with your frame as well, where After Effects actually creates um, in between frames. And last we have whole frames, which is just the normal way that After Effects deals with um, your frames when you don't have the frame blending selected. So go back and watch our previous video on frame blending and pixel motion and you will understand this better. Alright, so we're going to select whole frames actually. And uh, notice that we have the speed here. Now with the speed, it's going to speed up your clip or slow down your clip by a certain uh, percentage. So here we have it at 50%. So the clip is going to be slowed down by 50%. And 50% is the default that time warp sets the clip to. And if we play it back, notice now it's going 50% slower than the original. Now let's say we actually wanted to speed this up to something um, extreme. So we'll do 300. So we want it at 300%. Notice what's going to happen. I'll start from the beginning. Yep, very interesting. So we told After Effects speed it up 300%. Now, did you notice that it actually stopped playing very early? That's because we ran out of frames because we sped it up so much. So that's something you have to keep in mind. Now, one thing we can also do with this speed here is we can keyframe it. So let's say we wanted it to start at 50%. And then we move, maybe like right about here, after this, we move it to 150%, speed it up. And then a little bit further, we move it to, let's say, 300%, 300%. So let's zoom in a little bit down here, pull this back, let's even this out a little bit. And you open this up by pressing U. You'll open up the effects by pressing U. So playing this back, it goes slow, speeds up. Now notice that the speed is actually building as time progresses. If we wanted it to stay at 50% and then jump to 150% and then jump to 300%, all we have to do is highlight all of our clips and then press toggle hold keyframe. And then it will play slow, then it will jump, then it will jump even more. So if we sp can spread this out a little bit more so you can see it better. So it goes 50%, 150, 300. All right, now one other thing you can do with um, this time warp effect is you can actually reverse your speeds if you want. So here we have uh, just the speed at 100%. I'll put a keyframe here and then I'll move it to say right about here and then I'll push it down to negative, let's go to negative 27. Let's see how that looks. It's going forward and then it goes down. And if you wanted to just do a quick break and go backwards, all you do is press toggle hold keyframe. It's going forward 100% and then boom, it switches going backwards. Now, one thing you have to remember here is with this speed effect is that it starts from where you are with the percentage of your frame. So say we had this at uh, zero, right? 
notice what's going to happen. Nothing plays because the speed here has nothing to play back from because we started at zero. We're basically starting at the beginning. So I will undo that and set it back to 100. Okay, now we have some other options here. We have things like motion blur that we can put on this clip. So um, let us enable it and then we can change the shutter samples. This is basically going to be how many uh, shadows you're going to have in your clip. And we can change the speed here and we'll really exaggerate it to something like 400 and you'll really see these shadows pop out. So you see the shadows playing now and it's really short because it just ran out of frames but you see the shadows that appeared. Now another option that we have to actually work with the time warp is something called the source frame option and this allows you to go through your um, clip and to animate it based off of the frames in the clip. So what you could do is say you could start at zero and we can put a keyframe here. One second we want to jump it up to 160 and then we could even reverse it. We'll bring it back down to frame number 30 and then we will we'll put it all the way up to 400. So if we play this back, it's going, going back, and then going forward. And when you're using this, it's a good idea to know how many frames you actually have in your clip so that you know what you're working with. So I will just uh, double click on this and see how many frames I have. I'll drag it all the way to the end and you press control here and then you click and it shows you that you have 334 frames in your clip. So pushing it to 400 isn't really going to be that helpful. So we will just press 334. So to the last frame. And going back to the composition here, we will turn off this motion blur and then we'll just play it through and see what happens. Okay, yeah, so basically it played through according to the keyframes that we set the source frame to. And then here it ran out of frames. So this is just something you can do with the time warp and how you can play with the source frame and the speed and things like the motion blur. I hope you learned something in this tutorial and we will see you on the next one. Until next time.